Hey everybody, back with another video. So in the last video, I made the knife grinding jig and now I wanna use it and actually make some knives. So uh, first, I just wanna make some kinda little test knives. So I have these blanks cut out. They were cut out by my brother probably like seven or eight years ago, but we really didn't have any tools or any way of heat treating them. So a bunch of them are just still left as blanks, even though I think he, he ground and messed with a couple of them, but I'm pretty much just gonna use those now and uh, actually try to make some knives out of them and heat treat them so we can actually test how the heat treat went and if I'm actually able to, whatever, make something usable. So here's what we're working with. Here are the four blades. I already have one wrapped in this steel foil. We have this little roll of it, so. Um, like I probably mentioned in the last video, I really don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I've done very minimal research into uh, how to actually make a knife, but over the years, just watching YouTube and everything, seeing the knife makers on Instagram, I think I've learned enough to get started. So here are some of these blanks. That one's already ground a little bit. This one has a little like anso scalloping in the handle for some reason, don't know why. This one's pretty plain in here. So pretty much just cutting up this foil, wrapping them up, and then they'll be ready to go in the heat treat. And there we go. Four blades all wrapped up. I didn't do it very neatly, but hopefully it works. I think it might affect it a little bit, but it should still be able to heat treat, I'd assume. So from here, I just gotta go fire up the heat treat oven. And I didn't mention it before, but this is N690, so it's not like amazing steel or anything, but uh, good enough. I mean, there's some pretty good knives that still use N690, so um, definitely not like a terrible steel. And something that I found a recipe um, online for heat treating it, so um, we got to find out if that works, especially if it works for these and if I'm able to hit the uh, hardness that I want. So I will see you guys once I fire up the heat treat oven. And we're back from heat treating now. So this is what the blade looks like, or at least one of them. Uh, I believe all this scale and stuff means that I did not have a good seal on the foil. So definitely need to work on that. Double crimping, um, making sure that it's actually completely sealed. Let me see if I can get a focus. I don't know if it will, but yeah, you can see it's definitely scaled up so it does feel hard though uh, i ran a file across it and it seems like it might work so definitely have to finish whatever clean all the scale off temper it put an edge on it and then we'll really be able to test whether it worked but i do have a couple others here that i can open and check you have to be careful because this stuff is sharp. There you can see a bunch of scale on that one too. And final one. Also, I believe the foil wrap that I used, um, there's different types you use for different temperatures. So this is just stuff that we already had when we got all this knife making stuff. So I'm not sure if it's rated to as hot of a temperature as I need it to be. So that could be a problem. But once we restock and uh, load back up on supplies and stuff, definitely get whatever, 
2000 degree rated foil. So I'm gonna take these, probably try to, well, I guess temper them first and then I'll clean them up after, get them nice and smooth before we grind and put an edge on them. Here I've got the closest one to being done so far. So I already put an edge on it originally, but it was ground too thin. So this was the one that was already ground before I heat treat it. So it was ground too thin, pretty much down to a zero grind. So I just went and tried to sharpen it. It pretty much just started eating away right here. So it was kind of like a hawk bill shape. So I went back and just hit it straight on the grinder, flattened it out. Now you can see it's about 25 to 30 thou thick at the edge now, completely flat. So I still have scale on the bevel here. I'm gonna hit that on a Scotch-Brite belt, see if it takes that off, it looks good. And here I have the Scotch-Brite belt. Here we have an edge, first time I've ever put an edge with a belt. And it looks okay, I mean, here's a little scrap piece of leather and it cuts into that. So, it might not be terrible. And here we are with two finished knives. So I still have the other two that are ready to kinda grind and work on after all, all I've done is taken them out of the uh, heat treat foil so I can still do everything pretty much to them so I just got these two done thought I'd end the video here with a look at these so as you can see I stuck it on our surface grinder took off all that scale still a little I don't know kind of uneven surface grind a little you can see little ruts and stuff kind of in it's not perfectly smooth but if I put it down on the granite and ran it with some sandpaper, I'd be able to get a better satin finish on there. I hit the edge with, or hit it on the wet stone for a little bit, the one that I use for my kitchen knives. And you can see it made the edge a lot bigger. Not very even. You can see the reflections all kind of weird on it. It took off a little more of that black scale on the... Uh, bevel when I did that and these are far from perfect this is not something I would ship out I'm obviously not selling this this is just a little test piece I'm not I don't really love the design or anything of it it's just something to test and here we can see if it's sharp enough for me to cut the paper uh, I have cut paper with it I don't know if I'll be able to do it on camera but there you go So about as sharp as a sharpened butter knife, but make some cuts. I've cut a good amount of paper with it. Haven't noticed the edge uh, kind of dulling yet or anything, but I'd really need to put some use to it, I think, to tell, because even a not very hard heat-treated knife could hold up cutting paper for a while, so... The heat treat seems to be good. Hitting it on the whetstone, it was definitely hard to grind all that down. This was a while on the whetstone to get that edge kind of even up, evened up and sharpened. Now, that's pretty much it for that one. It's not bad. Fun little knife to mess around with, but nothing special. And here we are with the V-Grind. So there you can see a very big bevel, or very big secondary bevel there. The um, belt satin is actually pretty nice. I do like that. It's uh, 
I don't even know what grit belt I was using, but it was a pretty high grit or, uh, I don't know, pretty rough belt and came out looking pretty good. It's pretty smooth. Um, rougher than you would get for like a production knife still, but not bad. And here you can see it's a very convex edge. The, bev the secondary bevel is so big that when I hit it on the whetstone, I kept doing it at different angles. Couldn't really keep the angle perfectly flat, and you can kind of see that it's a convex edge, kind of like a, I don't know, like a katanas and stuff, I think, have those Japanese swords and stuff. So I think this one also cuts, but the um, the main problem I found, so when I had this one, I took it, when I took it to the uh, belt sander to our belt grinder to put that edge on it, I, like I explained, I took away way too much up here and it kind of made it into like a hawk bill because the edge was way too thin when I tried to sharpen it. I flattened it down to about 25 thousandths, then put the edge on it and it made a nice smaller secondary bevel when I did that and kept it from eating away and making it into a hawk bill shape. For this one, because of a lot of other knives and stuff I've seen, they go down to about a 40 thousandth edge before they start to put the bevel on. Well, that's what I did with this one, and it definitely left way too much for me to make that secondary bevel. So if I would have taken this down to, I think, also about 25 thousandths, it would be a lot smaller of a bevel. It would be a lot easier to do a clean secondary bevel with a nice flat grind on it rather than a giant ugly convex grind there but but like I said I do like that belt satin there the scale doesn't look too bad to me I wasn't going to spend my time messing around with the uh, finishes and everything and cleaning up all the edges because this really was just a test if I could grind if I could sharpen it and if I could get it hard so I think Whole process was a success because I was able to, I think, get them hard enough. Uh, I was able to get an okay grind on this one. I was not able to get a good edge on it, but that can come later. So overall, I think it was worth it. It was a success. It was a learning uh, opportunity. And now I still have two more heat-treated blades. Um, tempered and everything ready to uh, be ground down so look forward to that in a future video oh wait let me uh, do a cut test with this one see if this one can cut also a little more dull depends on where so the back and the front of the grind I think are a lot more dull than the middle if you get it at the right angle, you can get a cut in the middle, but the front and the back are definitely more dull. So that's pretty much it for these. I'm going to end it there just so I can get uh, started on the other two. And then I might just make a video following along from start to finish of one of these by themselves. See if we can make kind of a nicer one. I, kn I know that the uh, steel is hardened, so now it'll be more of a test to get clean grinds, a nice edge and then maybe do some nice finishing on it and see how we can do that. And I'm not selling these. I don't love the design. I didn't design it or anything. These were my brother's uh, blanks that he had cut out. So um, just using them as test pieces, like I've said a thousand times, kind of just repeating myself now. But uh, if you want to see more knife-making content, I'll still be doing knife reviews, but coming up, more knife-making content, trying to actually learn how to make some knives, hopefully make some kitchen knives and be able to use them, test them, see how I can do. So subscribe if you want to see all that stuff. If you like this video, throw me a like, help out the channel, and thank you for watching.